All right, legends, welcome to part 12 of Introduction to PHP and MySQL. And in this video, we're going to start programming. So fasten your seatbelts, and I hope you guys are as excited as I am. So in any programming language, we need to create variables. What's a variable? I'm glad you asked. A variable is a, how am I going to word this? A variable is a, a symbol that represents a value or has a value. If you ever read a book on programming, they'll have pages and chapters on what a variable is, but don't worry about that stuff. A variable... Long story short, it's just a symbol that represents a value, and this value can change over time with other programs you build. Just um, keep in mind a variable is just something that has a value. So how do we create variables in PHP? Well, we need to start by giving it a dollar sign. And PHP is case sensitive, so I highly recommend keeping everything lowercase. It will work. You could type in first this way as well as caps on. It's going to mean the same thing, but just to keep things from being more confusing and making more mistakes I recommend just keeping it all lowercase and if you need to add another word again variables we create there's no right or wrong it's just something you come up with and kinda have to remember so if you need a variable that needs two words give it an underscore variable don't give it a what is this, a subtraction sign? I don't know if this will work or not. Maybe some servers and browsers might recognize it, but I program PHP in PHP every day, and I keep everything lowercase, and if I do need to create a variable, I give it an underscore. If I do need to create a variable with two words, I give it an underscore, or three words, or four words, but I would never create a variable that had more than two words. I don't see what the point is. So let's go ahead and give this variable a value and we'll give it a value of four because four is my favorite favorite number in the world because Lou Gehrig was number four. And I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna open it up in the browser. Nothing happened, why? Because our browser isn't smart enough to assume that we're trying to get this to show up here. What do we have to do to get it out there, to output it? Echo, you guys remember echo? Semicolon to close it out. Let's reload it. Four. There it is. So, and it and a variable doesn't have to be a number. It could be a string. A string is just like a a word or a, a small choice of words or a phrase. So we'll call it. This is our first variable. Again, semicolon at the end. As you see here, it's both in quotations. Our variable, our value of our variable is in quotations because this is a string. And I'm going to save it. I'm going to reload it. How come that didn't work? Let's reload it again. Did I not save it? Save. Oh, it's because we didn't echo it. There it is. Okay, so we just created one variable. We kind of created two variables, but not really. We created one variable and gave it two separate values and outputted it into our browser. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be talking more about strings and integers and different types of variables in the next videos, but follow along. Good luck. If you guys have any questions, let me know, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next